Hi Dumelan! Guys, welcome back to another video to my returning subscribers. And if you're new here, my name is Anna Pukub and I am an English teacher in South Korea. So guys, first things first, make sure that one, that you have subscribed to the channel by clicking that subscribe button down below. Two, make sure to click the notification bell so you know every time I post a new video, which is weekly. And three, give this video a thumbs up because today we're talking about first day at your school teaching English that first day that first week what does it look like but before we get into it I just want to say to you guys please take this as an idea um, and don't make it an expectation because schools are different what my experience was on my first day and first week may not necessarily be your experience because you know we're all different and go through our own journeys and experiences so yeah Anyways, let's get into today's video. <laughs> hey, yeah. mm. When the students walk into your classroom that first day, um, that first week, it's usually a time for them to get to know you. So we use this as an introduction day, ice breaking day, get to know you day. So native English speakers, usually the very first lesson that you're going to have with your students is you telling them about who you are. Um, you introduce yourself to them, they introduce themselves to you if you obviously provide or create that environment for that. Um, so you are going to create a PowerPoint presentation. That's usually what we all do, or most of us do, um, where we do a PowerPoint presentation, where we get to tell the students about who you are. So I did a, pre a presentation about who I am, where I'm from, um, but about my family. So what I did is I obviously said, you know, spoke about who I am. So I introduced myself. I also put a picture because now we, it's COVID, we wear masks. So they don't have a full view of who you are. So I included my picture of my name. I included the flag and where I'm from. I even had a map showing South Africa. Then I decided that I wanted to show them a video showing South Africa. So I found this beautiful video on YouTube that just shows, it was mainly showing Cape Town, but it was beautiful. So I thought that they needed to see that. You'll find that especially in Asia, the view of South Africa, of Africa, let's say, isn't the greatest the, some of them still think that we live with animals outside or that we poor or uh, yeah <laughs> so you are also educating them about your country and where you come from so i had a video on that and i was intentional about it because i wanted to sh show them what south africa looks like and that some of what they've been taught or have seen is not a full view that there's more to our country and to our people talking about the people i had another video in there where i was showing the diversity of south africa that we're from a rainbow nation so i had a video showing people from south africa and then i had another video of our south african national anthem although that anthem i only played it with the middle school and not elementary but i thought it was really nice of me to just show those videos so they can get a bit of a feel of South Africa and especially the things that I loved about South Africa and sure that those were included in those videos. So that's what I did in my um, About Me PowerPoint presentation and then I spoke about obviously my favorite color, um, favorite animal, things like that so they can also get to know me a little bit more, my interests and hobbies. Um, so that's what you're going to do on your first days. They're going to get to know you and you create this PowerPoint presentation. Um, what else you can do is have um, a game for them to play if you've got time for it, or do like an icebreaker, like um, two truths, one lie, or you can just go around asking them questions, whatever you wanna do. On my side, at elementary, what they did was the teachers, their homeroom teacher came with them. So I don't necessarily have one co-teacher I teach with. The, students come to my class with their homeroom teacher so the homeroom teacher went through the classroom rules which helps because they could speak to them in korean and tell them the rules in korean and english which worked and one of the teachers she actually did an exercise where she had students write down what the rules were so she made it more interactive and the students got involved in creating these rules so that's what happened first they put together the classroom rules they spoke about it after that it was then my turn to introduce myself to them so we didn't have enough time to play a game because it started with rules 
and then me doing the PowerPoint presentation talking about who I am, where I'm from, so they can get to know me. With my school, it's the first time that they had somebody look like me. So the teacher before me was a Korean English teacher. So she was from America, but she was Korean. Um, and she's been there for four years. So it's the first time that they interacted with a black person in my school. So, and from South Africa. So yeah, um, I went through the PowerPoint presentations and the videos and then I was asked them if they had any questions, they didn't, but we didn't have time to do anything else. So that was with my elementary school. I did the same PowerPoint presentation, the same thing happened for all the grades. So I teach grade three, four, five, and six during the day. So for all four of them, that's what I did. Then, after school because i had after school english that week as well so with after school english i played games i really i was like this is a time where they get to know me and i get to know them we're just having fun so i created a bunch of games and that's what we did obviously in the games i tried to make sure that there's always an english task or an english activity so the after school games that i created was musical chairs now while they were playing musical chairs um, whenever the music would stop and somebody didn't have a seat I had flashcards and then they would need to tell me what that flashcard was in English. That's what I did with them, with the little ones. We did musical chairs. The older students, they also enjoyed musical chairs. Yeah, actually, I did musical chairs with all of them. There was a second game that I had. I can't remember what we did in the second game, but that's what I did in my after school English. I was like, we're not learning anything. We're just getting to have fun with another, to get to a place to be comfortable with each other myself and the students that's what i did um so yeah that was my first lesson was getting to know me after school english was just having fun and um, building a rapport with the students that's what we did um now before i had my first lesson i taught my first lesson before we did that there was an, an an assembly so all the new teachers were introduced to the school because it's COVID. it wasn't like a, we were all in one hall it was over video so it was a digital assembly so i had to then come up and just greet everybody on camera and introduce myself so i just said Anyong, haseyo, janun anna imnida so it's just hello my name is anna um, and then i said i'm from south africa so yeah that's all i sent and everybody clapped um and then that was it and the rest of the day i just sat in my office getting together putting together my powerpoint presentation making sure i was ready so that's what happened on my very first day on school property my first lesson was just doing the introduction and doing the powerpoint presentation about me so that's one of the things you can expect so put together a presentation about you where you're going to share to the students who you are where you are from, what you like, colors, animals, that sort of thing. And if you want to, if you will have time, um, put together some sort of, think of a game or some sort of activity or icebreaker that you'd want to do with your students. So that's what I did with my elementary kids. So that was my first week. First week I did no teaching. It was the welcome assembly. It was teaching them about me. Um, obviously in that first week, I only see all of these students um i saw them once because the other two days um they didn't come to english so it really depends on your school when you meet your code teacher they'll either tell you this when your first day of teaching will be or ask them so you know so you know if you need to have lessons planned for that week or your only plan can just be about me and games so ask those questions so you know what to prepare Awesome. Then um, on the next thing, if you do need to prepare lessons, when you meet your co-teacher they and you go to your school, they're going to give you your textbooks or the teacher's guide so you know what you're going to be teaching. Um, some of you will either be teaching with the co-teacher where you guys will be putting together lessons or she'll do the teaching portion, you'll do the games and activity portion, or you'll be in charge of the whole 40-minute lesson on your own. And you then get to do your own planning and things like that. But please don't freak out. There is a teacher's guide. In the guide, there are lesson plans or there are websites that we as native English speakers use that we share our lessons and PowerPoint presentations, which makes your planning life easier. These two sites that we use are Kosher and Waygook. Um, I'll put them in the description box so you can go on to there. There's not much you can do with that until you know what textbook your school uses and things like that. And yeah but that is there for you. 
don't freak out guys <laughs> you'll be okay um but just speak to your code teacher ask the questions if you have any questions um just so you know what that first week is going to look like are you teaching or are you not teaching then let's move on to my middle school as for my middle school my second school with them um i also did the introduction um about me powerpoint presentation i use the exact same one but with them, what I did is I, I added slides where I wanted them to get. So I would ask them, what do you think my favorite color is? Where do you think I'm from? So whatever I put in that PowerPoint presentation, I first put a slide asking them to guess. I would put like a multiple choice and they would put up their hands whoever thought, you know, if I said, you think my favorite animal was a lion, elephant, they would put up their hands and then I would show them and tell them a little bit about it. And that's how I did it with them. I also showed them the videos. I did also have the national anthem to show them. Um, what else I did with middle school, after we were done, I didn't do musical chairs with them or any other game. I did, I played music and there was a hat in the classroom. Played music and they had to pass around this hat. When the music stopped, whoever had the hat had to answer a question that I had for them because I, I did give them a chance to ask, to ask me questions, but I didn't get much. So I was like, oh, okay, since you guys don't have questions, I have questions for you. So I play the music, hat goes around, music stops, and then I ask them questions. I would ask them things like, um, do you have brothers and sisters or who's in your family or, um, you know, to get them talking. Because in middle school, my main purpose for being there is conversational English to get them talking. So that's what my teacher, the co-teacher told me there at that school. So yeah, that's what I did with them. I'm trying to think what other questions I asked them to do. I mean, what other questions I asked? Yeah, I can't remember, but there were basic things. It was also a good opportunity for me to sort of get a feel of where the English level is at, which I'm glad I came up with that game because I saw that um, yeah, it, it just gave me a sort of a clue on where they're at and how to proceed going forwards with my lessons with them. But that's what happened in middle school. My first day was just doing that PowerPoint and playing that game with each and every class. That's what I did. Yeah. So that is what my first day, first week looked like. I, there was really no teaching i didn't do any english teaching it was just about me and then playing some sort of icebreaker games to get them to talk or to build some sort of rapport with them is what i did in my first week second week is when i really started to teach where i needed to lesson plan so my lesson plan i actually did over the weekend um <laughs> that's when i actually planned for my first few lessons for that week so that's when i did my lesson planning you'll find that lesson planning in the beginning takes a very long if you're like me it's gonna take you very long um a couple of hours um but don't be too hard on yourself it does take some time because it is new especially for us who were not teachers before coming here so it's gonna take some time um, and also because you you want to get it right that you're gonna do a whole lot of research before actually putting together the lesson <laughs> you're gonna do a whole lot of research on games and things um, but the more you do it the better you get at it you also you start knowing your students and you know what works what doesn't so eventually it took me minutes to start planning a lesson because now it takes minutes because i know what works for my students what doesn't what they enjoy what they don't enjoy what gets them to be interactive what doesn't like i already know that anything that gets them to be competitive against each other works they are very competitive students um so it works when i have that element in the classroom so things like that you, you learn over time as you spend more time with your students so in the beginning don't be hard on yourself that it takes you long to plan don't be hard on yourself that you know you may not get it right on the first day or second day or the first week and um, be patient with yourself be patient with yourself it's a journey and you're not going to get it right all the time so yeah that's just my two cents if you guys have any questions please let me know down below and um, there was one of you that sent me a message saying anna and um, can i start planning lessons what can i do to start planning my lessons right now and i said listen you can't start planning lessons because you don't know what textbook you're going to get you don't know what type of working relationship you and the co-teacher are going to have whether she's going to be teaching and then you just do games and activities or you do it all together or it's just you that needs to is in charge of the whole 40 minute 
this and you don't know how it's gonna work that's only things you're gonna find it when you hear and you meet with your co-teacher and you guys talk about how things are gonna run in the classroom that's then only then can you plan when you also see the textbook and the teacher's guide and things like that can you start planning also remember we've been teaching first semester you are coming in for second semester so it's also like which lesson are they on now so that's things that you're going to learn when you get here you can't just now plan while you're in orientation start doing your lessons or plan at home you can't do that you'll figure that out when you get here and you've had conversations with your co-teacher i'm trying to think if there's something else that you guys need to know that's important uh yeah i think that is everything Thing. if you guys have any questions please do put it down in the comment section below thank you so much for watching if you got to this part of the video Bye.